I got involved here in 1974 with the club. I used to come here as a kid. I saw Jerry Lewis on stage here. The uh, theater was built in 1928. The original design was started in 1923, and it was brought up by the Redford Businessmen's Association. They wanted to build a theater here to bring tourists to the neighborhood. So in 1923, they started plans, and the original design was going to be Greek Revival. In, the tw in 1928, when it was being built, 27 was being built, the uh, the theater was being built by a man named John Kunski. John Kunski was uh, the largest shower of, of movies in, on the east coast of the United States. So he was equal to William Fox on the west coast. So they were building this theater as, as Greek revival and he got a, a card from his daughter who was touring Japan and said, hey dad, we should have a Japanese theater in your chain. And at that point, he said, Oh, that's a good idea, and this theater became a Japanese playhouse. That's why we have all the Japanese decor in the building. It opened up in uh, January 27th, 1928, and had the original pipe organ. It still has the pipe organ here. And they showed, uh, they did vaudeville, showed silent films, and the theater ran as a Japanese inspired movie theater up until the 40s when we were in, involved in World War II. In World War II came along, what we understand is attendance dropped off. The people coming to the theater thought this was a Japanese-owned theater, and so they had stopped coming. So the uh, owners decided, well, we'll paint it over, let's get rid of the Japanese flair, and maybe people will come back. It worked. So, but all the decoration was painted over. And in subsequent years, they hung drapes up on the walls. They knocked parts of the walls down, covered parts up. And it was completely obliterated, except for the actual structure of the, the two pagoda roofs and the roof over the stage. When we took over in 1974, we didn't know what it looked like. We didn't have any pictures, any plans, any prints of the building. One of our members said, well, I just did uh, giant blocks for a castle and a play. We could paint it like that. So all the walls got painted gray and were painted to look like cinder blocks. They were about 18 inches wide and about a foot high. And what was funny was people would walk up to the cinder blocks the painting and touched them thinking they were real cinder blocks even though they were all paint. In 1982 we came across a set of photographs that showed what the building actually looked like. And we decided we'd start to dig in and see if we could restore the building back to what it looked like originally. So the first restoration project was the inner lobby which we had no pictures of. So we got paint stripper and we started stripping the walls down and found original colors, original designs and we went from there to explore the whole building, strip it down, copy all the original sensor work, reapply it all, and restore it back to what it was in 1928. About 13 years ago, we started our, our seating project. We had been saving money up over the years to replace the, the seats that were in here. They were from a theater called the Tower Theater in uh, near, nearby downtown, to, not downtown, but nearby Detroit. So the Tower Theater seats had been installed here. They were yellow and blue and ugly. And we got with a company called Country Roads who manufactured uh, seating of old theaters, uh, what they called restoration seating. So we picked out a seat that was very similar to what was here originally. The original seats were called Haywood Wakefield. They don't make them anymore. They didn't have a copy of them. What we did find was they had uh, RN Sanders here, our, a copy of the San Francisco Fox Theater, which has been torn down now, but they had a copy of the N Standard, and they were almost identical to the originals. So we had those installed. Uh, we painted them, had them painted with our particular colors, and we copied the uh, black crackle finish off the organ to, to match the organ to the seats. 
And that's where we are right now. We've done the uh, main floor seating program was done about 13 years ago. Our balcony was done last year to completely reseat the, the theater at a cost near $700,000. Right now, there are 1,591 seats. The building originally sat 2,200. A lot of seats were pulled out, and we respaced the seating on the main floor to give more leg room. Where the seats would have been 32 inches apart, we're at 42 inches. So there's an extra 10 inches in every row. So we lost seating, but it makes it a lot more comfortable for our patrons. Well, we're looking at uh, redoing the marquee back to the original style. Uh, that's going to be about a million dollar project. We're upgrading lighting. Uh, we upgraded our, our furnace. Well, we had four star furnaces. We upgraded them to a, a boiler system about 15 years ago. So we're upgrading those, keeping them running. And uh, we just re uh, seal coated our parking lots. And what we read, we did new fire, new fire escapes last year. So new fire escapes, reseal coating. We're working with Home Depot on a grant. We'll be doing a handicapped restroom and new office space for us on the side of the building. Now the theater has enjoyed some success. Um, more recently, he was featured in the series Hung. Um, he was also. Uh, the star of Mayor Duggan's State of the Union address. Um, do you find that more people are discovering the theater um, as opposed to in the past? Or is attendance up? Uh, it's amazing how much discovery there is of, of our building. We've been here, as I said, since 1974. The building has been open almost continuously since 1928. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, we were, we were experiencing 250 people for a weekend, 300 people for a weekend. Now our average weekend is 800 to 1,000. So we have more people coming in and new people all the time. And thanks to Mayor Duggan's speech, our rental business is, is going through the roof right now. And that's great. that you have an actual stage. Like, you don't just show movies. You do have plays and stuff. I have seen um, a few plays, actually, here. Um, do you, are you planning on putting on more plays in the future? Or? Uh, we do have one rental coming in that's a play, coming in, I believe, March. Uh, it's a one, I believe, a one-day-only production. We do uh, quite a few, quite a few uh, stage productions. We used to do bodybuilding shows a lot. Uh, we were doing seven eight a year. We have one this year. So that, that market has dropped off for the bodybuilders. We have, uh, like say, the one play. We have uh, the Popovich Comedy Pet Theater coming in this year, I believe in September. We are booked almost every single weekend through the year. You also do film festivals. Your more popular film festival is the Three Stooges. Is there any point in time where you'll do like theme weekends, like a sci-fi um, weekend or a Friday the 13th marathon or things of that nature? I don't know about a Friday the 13th marathon. We do uh, double features quite often. And uh, as for doing a, a festival of sci-fi, I'm not sure about that one. i not on the film booking committee. Oh, okay. Well, that was just an example. I mean, it right. can be anything, whether it's gangster movies or horror movies. Yeah. They, you know, I know we've got another, another Stooges Festival coming up. Uh, we're doing some double feature stuff this year. We're doing um, Dial-In for Murder in 3D, which is going to be very unusual. You don't get to see 3D 
on film in an old theater very often. You see it in, the, in the, the new cineplexes that are using all digital, but we're still running 90% of our, our film production is actual film. So you do have the capability of 35 millimeter, and is that it, or? We have um, a pair of Norelco uh, 3570s. They can show 35 millimeter, two channel, Oh, 35 mil, I'm sorry, 35 millimeter monaural, two channel or four channel stereo, or 70 millimeter six channel stereo, as well as DTS capabilities, uh, all, the, all the Dolby processes. We can do all that, all that stuff upstairs. And we have a 16 millimeter projector as well. Wow, that's, that's really rare, 16 millimeter. 16 is pretty rare. We get an occasional silent film on 16. Um, so for the people who do not know, um, can you please tell them the hours of operation where they can come and enjoy the theater? The, uh, well, the theater is located on Lasser Road, one block north of Grand River. Uh, the actual address is 17360 Lasser. We are open generally Friday at 8 o'clock. Doors open at 7. Saturday matinees are generally a 2 o'clock matinee with 1 o'clock doors and an 8 o'clock evening show on Saturday with 7 o'clock doors. We occasionally will do a Sunday matinee. We have Gone with the Wind coming up, and that's going to be a Friday evening, and that's actually an early start time. So that's going to be Friday at 7 o'clock. There's a meet and greet uh, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, on, that's on the Saturday. Then there's a Saturday evening show at 7 o'clock. And then there's a Sunday matinee, which is rare for us. But that's going to be at 1 o'clock on that Sunday. So you can uh, go on, on our website at redfordtheater.com, theater spelled R-E. Or you can go to our telephone at 313-537-2560 and get information that way. Okay. Check us out on Facebook and online, and we're modern. <laughs> and old. Well, what I was going to ask you is, um, you mentioned rental space, so people can rent the theater um, for special events? Yes, yeah, the theater is available for special events. Uh, we do birthday parties, weddings here, uh, plays, concerts, all kinds of uh, different events happen on, on our stage and in the theater. and. You can uh, get contact off of our website for a gentleman named Steve Overstreet, who does our rental business. And, or if you come to the theater, you can pick up a, a flyer with his phone number on it. And is it possible to just, like, just rent the uh, marquee to like, wish somebody happy birthday or something like that? Mm, I don't know. We've never, I, I don't see why not. Uh, we've never done that. <laughs> never hurts to ask. No, it never hurts to ask. One of, one of the possible projects coming up is a, a digital marquee where we could rent space out for advertising and for happy birthdays to Mr. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, the uh, theater also sells T-shirts and stuff. Yes, we do. We have uh, a T-shirt counter uh, and a 50-50 every, every weekend. T-shirts are with our logo on it. And we also have a gentleman named Larry the T-shirt guy who does custom T-shirts for almost every movie. And he can make you up anything you want that day. He's pretty good. Now see, that's something I didn't know. Custom T-shirts for every movie. That's pretty good. Yeah, you get all the T-shirts that have the, the movie on them. Well, he's making those custom. So he can, he can make you anything you want. I have one I had a makeup that has the, uh, the eye from uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, the, the computer Hal. And the quote was, hello, Hal. Well, I had him change it so it says, hello, Al. <laughs> Is there anything else we should know about the Redford Theater? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Redford Theater is a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. 
owned and operated by the Motor City Theater Organ Society. Our goal is to save Theater Pipe Organ. That is the goal of the, the club that owns it, the corporation that owns it. And that's why we're here, to save the Barton Pipe Organ. Uh, we have, oh, I should let me do that again. We are always taking donations. You can purchase a seat or donate a seat, put your name on it, sponsor a seat. So if you look at, at seats throughout the building, there are sponsorship tags. We are uh, fully tax deductible, so you can, you can take that off your taxes. And it's, it, the benefits are worthy the cause. Us. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.